Kathy Smith, and we just finished shooting the most incredible video that I've ever seen. Now, when I decided to design this video, I wanted something that was safe, that was effective, but also that was a whole lot of fun. And you know what? We did it. We really did it. There are some truly unique features in this video that I'd like to explain to you right now. For example, beat counts. All new steps begin on a one count and continue for multiples of four counts. Now, we're going to help you find that one count. We show you the different levels of difficulty of an exercise so you can pick the best one for you. And foot looking. Feet seem to be a source of a lot of problems. Don't laugh. I have people in classes that can't get their right from their left. So we've simplified it for you. I want you to look at your feet right now. Go ahead, look on down. Looks just like that, right? Now I want you to look at your right foot and look at your left foot. Every time you see and hear this, you'll get to check your feet. Aerobics are great for the cardiovascular system, and they're also a great way to lose weight. Nature has given you a very convenient way to check your aerobic state. It's your heart rate. We're going to learn how to determine it right now. Subtract your age, for example, 30, from 220. Now multiply that number first by 70% and then by 85%. The result per minute is your target zone. Twice we'll stop and take a 10-second heart rate check, either on your neck or on your wrist. Now multiply that number times six. Are you in your target zone? If you're above it, slow down. But if you're below it, you're gonna have to work harder. If this or any other part of the tape is not clear, just rewind and review. Correct technique is so important. Doing an exercise properly is gonna help you avoid injury and also give you the most benefit. When you first begin this workout, and especially in the warm-up, don't use the full range of motion. Keep the movements compact. Start at a sensible pace, your pace, and work with this tape building up gradually. If you have a tight back or any lower back problems, use a bent knee position. This will reduce the stress on your back. Always remember to keep your knee over your foot, not allowing it to twist out of line. Again, this will reduce any strain on the knees. The last thing I'd like to talk about is commitment. There's absolutely nothing magical about this tape. You have to commit to working with it. You're going to have to set some goals. You're going to have to work toward those goals. You're going to achieve those goals. Now, give me, no, give yourself at least three months, and I swear you will see rosier cheeks, you're going to see a lot of vitality, and you're going to see a leaner, tighter body. What I want is for you to start right now, put that tape on, and have some fun with this whole thing. I'm Kathy Smith. Now have a good time with your good health. By the way, if your VCR has a memory, put a zero here. Then your tape will always be ready to work out. Okay, it's time for the warm-up. Now remember, make those movements fluid, no jerky motion, and don't get competitive with these guys, because they're really good. Feet, shoulder width apart, let's take a deep breath up, inhale up, exhale out, inhale up, exhale out. Now this time we're going to add the head, drop it down around the neck, inhale up, exhale out. Reach to the ceiling. Count to eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now open it up. Nice and wide. Plie on down. Four, three, two. Now for stretching your sides, reach right and left. Right, left, right, left. Now the hands go right to the knees and you stretch the shoulders down, down. Four, three, Two, now drop the hands to the floor and bend and straighten. Bend, straight. We're working our hamstrings now. Nothing jerky. From the top, reach up. Two, three. Open it up and a wide plie. Press it down there. Move it lower. Reach right and left. Side, side. Hands go to the knees. You got the routine now. Try to memorize it. Hands go down. Bend. Remember, the purpose of warming up is to get the body warm. 
to increase circulation to the muscle and to lubricate the joints. So keep the movements fluid and controlled, not jerky or exaggerated. Hands go to the knees and stretch that back up. Last one down. Take it down, 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 last circle, take it 
up by now, so we got some challenges in store for you. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and turn. And center. And turn that one. Center for four again. Turn. Center. And turn. Count to two. Take it. Center, two, and right. Two. If you're feeling winded, don't stop. Just eliminate the arms, but continue with the lunge. You'll stay aerobic that way. Three, two, and the tricep. Take it in and down. If you're feeling winded, especially you beginners, don't stop. Just kick a little lower and keep going. Keep it aerobic. Heartbeat, either on your neck or on your wrist. Got it? Okay, ready? Count. And 
and stop. Now take that number and multiply times six. Are you in your target zone? If you're above it, slow down. If you're below it, let's work harder. Add on. It's like the alphabet game. I'll start with an exercise, then Leslie will do mine and add on her own. Then Debbie will do both of those and add on a third, and so on and so on until all eight steps have been added. Remember, follow the leader. the idea now? We're going to put all four together and then I'll add on the fifth one. Here we go.
find your heartbeat, either on your neck or on your wrist. Got it? Okay, ready? Count. And stop. Now take that number and multiply times six. Are you in your target zone? If you're above it, slow down. If you're below it, let's work harder. Four, three, two, and cross. And cross, 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 and open. Cross, 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 open. Cross to the elbow. Now single count. Take it. Open. Again. Diagonal. Take it. Up to the right, up to the left. Up, right, up, left. Drop the hands to the side. Four, three, two, and biceps. Up and up. And forward and forward. Again, up and up. And forward and forward. We're going for three more sets. Use those biceps. Forward, forward. And up and up. And forward and forward. Last set. Going to tempo. Here you go. And up, two, three, and four, five. Remember, six, this is seven, not a passive eight, exercise. Eight, Use those muscles isometrically. Last time. Hold it there. Open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, and down. Two and three and four and back. And forward. Now count to two. Take it up for two and back for two. Up, back, up, back. Single count. Sixteen times. Five, six, seven, eight, and eight, seven. Keep constant and equal pressure on both hands during this entire isometric series. The harder you push, the greater the reward. Three, and reverse it. Bring it down, elbows together. Press them, press them. Hold it, hold it, hold, take it out. Bring it in, out, out, in, out, out, in, out, out, in, out, out. Use those triceps. In, out, out, in, out, out, in, out, out, in, out, out, in, out, out. Four, three, two, now the tricep. It's in and down and slow, nice and slow. In, down, in, down. In, down, up to tempo. Pull it back. Back and down and back and down. Five, six, seven, separate the legs. Take it down, two, back and flat. Five, six, seven, up off the hand. Pull it back, two, and just hold it. Two. Again, just support yourself up there. You can support your body weight. One, two. Now for the intermediate move. Take it back. Two. And one push up up and down. Take it back. Two. And down and up.
Okay, now it's time for balance. This is not only great for your coordination, but it really helps the legs. So let's get started. Hands in the hips. And one, two, this side. And front, two, three, four, and side. Now lift it up. Up, up. To the side. Up. Keep that left leg straight. And forward. Last one to the side. And side. Two, three. Now bring it back. Back, last time, hold it here. Go all the way down. Now, beginners, I want you just to keep that leg up there. Advanced people are going to get a little bit more difficult here. They're going to straighten out the top leg, holding on to the toes, pulling the elbows in, but making sure all the time that this bottom leg is straight. Now, a couple things. Focus your eyes about three feet in front of you on the floor. Again, keep this leg straight and make sure that bottom leg's straight. And you can't forget to breathe. So many people tend to hold their breath. Breathe it out. Bring it all the way in, take it down, and back, two, three, flex it back now. Point it again, take it back, two, three, flex it back, and back, two. Now loosen up and just swing it through, front and back, and front and back, front and back, last time front, last time back, bring it all the way through, step it through, hands go up, all the way up. Toe comes off the floor, and right there, you hold it for the beginner. Now the advance, take it down. Okay, this again is a tricky, but as Sean's going to show you, it's not impossible. Chest a little bit further down, Sean. Chest is down, fingers are toward the front, and toe up the leg needs to be a little bit further up. What you want to do is make sure that you can balance a ruler all the way across here. Good, now hold it there. Bring it back up. Come back to center. Other side. Point it forward. One, two, three, and side. Again, forward and side. Now lift it up. Two, three. Lift it to the side four times. Up, two, three. Forward again. Now, if you're just beginning, you don't have to make these kicks very high. To the side again. Up, two, three. Take it behind. It. Down, up, out, in. Down, up, out, in. Three, and four. Bring it back and hold it there. Go all the way down. Beginners, stay right here. Now, advanced people, I want you to take it all the way out and hold it here. And notice where I have my fingers on the top of my toes, pulling them back, so I'm stretching out my Achilles. Bring it in. Take it down, hold it there. Five, six, seven, eight, and back. Two, three, now flex for four, and flex. Two, three, force again on the point. Point, two, three, four, and flex. Two, three, now swing it through. Take it, and front, and back, and front, and back, and front. Last time, hold it there, all the way up. And now, for the beginners, take it off the floor and just hold it there. For the advanced people, Go all the way down. Bring it back. Release it. Bring it all the way down. That was great. Okay, find a good carpeted area for the floor exercises. Okay, we're going into the lower torso now. Now what I want you to do is proper form. Shoulders, hips, ankles, all one straight line. And let's not slump into that shoulder. Are you ready? Five, six, now develop pace. Take it in and up. And in and up. Two more. Now hit the point. Hit it. One, two, three, bring it down. We're hitting the point. We're looking for this point. Really working that leg. Other side. Down. Do four more steps. Last set. 
Bend the knee. Up. And up. And up. Still working that outer thigh. Don't let the hip roll back. Now start to move that knee in front. We're, bringing, we're working a little bit different muscle group right here. Now, for the beginner, I want you to stay in this position. Believe it or not, it might seem easy right now, but you're going to start feeling that thigh. Give me eight more of them. Eight, eight, and seven, six, five, four, three. Now for the intermediates. Take it out and out and extend it. It's a slight bend and extend. Accentuate, accentuate the extend and extend, extend, extend. Give me four more, three more, two more. Now you keep going now in advance. Bring it up and down and up and down. Don't forget about the form and don't let those hips start to roll back. And up, down, up, down, up, down. And four more and three more, two more. Back to the Bella Bring it in and up, in. Two more sets, and we're going to flip over and do the whole thing on the other side. Flip it over, pay. Up, in, up, last one. Now hit the points again. Point, 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 bring it down. Point, 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 down. Point, 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 pull it down. Give me four more. One, two, three, four, two. Down, two more. Bend the knees and bring it up and up and up. Remember the stomachs are in, don't let the stomach fall out. Start to bring that knee forward. Again, the leg is parallel here. And remember, you're lifting the knee. Up and down, up, up. Intermediate, extend to the front. Extend, extend, extend. Four, three, two, keep going now, intermediates. Give me eight more. Really extend through that leg. Don't cut it short. Come on, straighten it, straighten it, straighten it. Four, three, two, advance, go to the ceiling. Bring it up and down and up. Down, up, down, up. Eight more. Seven, six, five. Four, three, two, back to develop, hey, one, and in. Bring it in, and up, in, and up. We've got two more to go. Hold the last one up, but now bring it up, up, and up, and up. Switch sides, inner thigh work. Switch again, it's count to fours. Switch up. Now count to two, take it up and down and up, switch sides, up and down and up, switch. Stay back there, single, it's open, close, and open, close, open, close, open. The beginners just keep going the same way, nice and, and controlled, using that inner thigh. Open, close, open, close. If you're a little bit more advanced, five, six of added. In. One, two, three, bring it up. One, two, three, bring it up. One, two, three, hit the point. Point, 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 bring it up. Point, 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 bring it up. Point, 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 bring it up. Give me four more. And up. Three. And two. And one. Advance move. It. One, two, three, and open. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last one, take four again, bring it all the way back down, and the buttocks now, lift the buttocks off the floor, keeping that lower back close to the floor though, and lift it. Take it up, and down, and up, and down, and up, and down, and up, down, and press it, down, and squeeze it, down, press it, down, four more counts, here you go, it's up, and two, and three, this is the last count, now for the intermediates, I want you to pop back up, down to your hands in the same motion. Down and up, and down and up, down and press it, down. Four more, it's one, down and two, 
down. Three. This time, just hold it up there. Here you go. And squeeze it. Squeeze. 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 Press the cheeks together tighter. And squeeze. 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 Now, for the intermediate people, I want you to stay right there. Keep holding it. Keep squeezing. Don't let those cheeks go. Tighter. 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 Now, don't think about squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Think about squeezing, pressing, tighter, 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 tighter. For the advanced people, I want you to take this move, take the right leg right to the ceiling, and press it up, and up, up. Give me four more on this leg. It's four, three, two. Now switch legs. Up. I want you to think about a string at the end of that toe, and that string is pulling you right to the ceiling. And you want to drop down, but you can't because somebody's got a hold of that string and they're pulling and pulling. Give me four more. Four, three, two. Drop it all the way back down. Everybody drop it down. Grab onto your knees. Pull it back. Down to the floor. Stretch it out. Try to keep the hips to the floor while you bring the knees to the chest. And now, all roll up together and get ready for stomach. One, two, three, four, five, six. Take it back. Contract and stretch. Straight, back, straight, back. The hands go out. Take it down. Two, three, four. It's nice and slow. Six, seven, and repeat that. Take it back and up. Back and up. Back and up. Back. Shoot the hands out. Take it down. Four counts. Three, that's four, and up. Six, seven. Now speed it up. Take it back. This is count to two. Back, hands go out, take it down, two, and up, and repeat it, take it back, and up, and back, the hands go out, take it down, two, up, now two more sets, take it back, and up, contract, hands go out, take it down, two, and up, now this is the last set, take it back, and up, back, hands go up, take it down, two, and the hell of it, there, take it up, Now count to four. Bring it up. Two, three. Take it out for four. Reach it. Two. Long hands. Three, four, and up. Two, three, four, out, and four. Three, two. One more set of four. Up. Two, three. Reach for four. Straight legs. Now count to two. Take it up. Two and reach. Two. Up. Two and. Now reach for the toes. Push it up there. Two. Further. Reach it. Bend the knees. Open the legs. And reach. Two. Three. Now count to two. Really work it. Two. Reach for the toes a little higher. And bend it. Two. And reach. Two's again. In. Two. And reach. Two. And in. Two. Now single count. In. 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 And up. And in. And out, and in, and up. Hold those stomachs in, don't forget to breathe. And up, and in, and out. Last time, in, and up. Right, left, right, left, right, left again. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Now breathe again. One, two, three. One, two, the knees are bent. One, two, three, this is the beginner move. One, two, three. 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 Again. One, two, three. Now let's go to the band. Let's move. Bring it up, two, up. Up, two, up. Up, two, three. Up, two, now extend that leg. Really up and extend it. Up, two, extend it. Up, two, extend it. Up, two, advance, move. One, two, three. One, two, three. Keep going. Whatever. 
midsection working on the waist. Five, six, now to the right. It's right and forward and left and back. Again, it's right and forward and left. Now switch directions. It's left and forward and back and back and left and forward and side. Now circle it around. Take it around and around. Switch directions. Take it around and around. Here we go. And down. Two. Three, four, reach it up. Now really drop it over to the left. Take it down. Two, three, four, reach it up. Two, three, take it down again. Down. Two, three, get nice and relaxed. Reach it up. Two, three, relax the next and don't build up any tension there. And reach. Two, three, now let's go for twos. Take it down. Two, and reach. Two again. Take it down. Two, and reach. And down. Two, and reach. Two, again. Down. Two, and reach. Now give me eight singles. Just drop it and reach. Drop it and reach. Six more. Make sure the stomach is in. The buttocks is tight. Last one on this side. Last one on this side. The hand comes down. Rib isolations. Plie on down. And five, six, seven. Now do it in doubles. And one. Uh, 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 and out. And out. And out. And out. Uh, uh, and out. And out. And out. Keep going. It's four, three, two, one. Bring it back up. Three, two, now open to the right. Take it back and open and back and open and back and open and back and open. Give me four more. Open and open. Back, open and right, left. Punch it right, left. Punch it out. Give me four more and three more and two more. Single counts. Go. Punch it. Punch it. Punch it. Keep going. Punch it. Punch it. Punch it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now bend at the waist. Take it down. Eight more. Seven. Let's get a feel for abdominal muscles. This will feel a bit awkward, but completely relax the muscles as you inhale, allowing the abdominals to relax. As you exhale, force all the air out by contracting the stomach muscles. Okay, you've worked those muscles now. We want to stretch them back out again. It's time for the cool down. Take a deep breath. Arms reach up to the ceiling. Now take it over the right, and then take another deep breath. And as you hold it over there and stretch out the side, start to let the air go slowly. Bring it back up to center. Stretch it back up to the ceiling. And now stretch over to the other side. Again, breathing, taking a deep breath. Stretching out that side as you start to let the breath go slowly. Bring it back up to center. Reach up to the ceiling and release the hands. Now drop forward from the waist, keeping the back flat. 
Take the hands behind the ankles, bend the knees, and press the chest right next to the knees as you straighten out the legs. Now bend the knees again. Grab behind the ankles a little bit tighter and pull yourself a little closer. And this is the last good stretch for the hamstring, so really make it count. Take the right leg behind you. Press the right hip into the floor, stretching the front of the leg. Take the right hand and stretch it up to the ceiling. Hold it there and reach as far as you can. Try to stretch that side up. Now switch sides. Reach it up the ceiling and actually pull it a little bit behind you to stretch out the shoulder. Drop the hand behind you, grab onto the ankle and pull the foot right to the buttocks as close as you can. But remember, keep that hip close to the floor. It's going to stretch out the quadricep and the whole from the leg. Release the leg, bring the arm all the way around, and bring both feet behind you in a push-up position, lower yourself down, and now for the cobra. Hands go underneath the chest, take a deep breath, and look right up to the ceiling, arch in the back, and now exhale, and let yourself down again. And now let's repeat that one more time. Inhale, and as you exhale, Look right up to the ceiling, stretching the neck back, stretching the shoulders back, while you keep the elbows as close to the body as you can. Now lower back down again. Press right up into a pike, stretching out your shoulders and the back of the legs. And now to stretch the Achilles, let's press the heels into the floor, alternating right and then left. Forget about your breath, and each time you do an exertion, make sure you breathe and let the air out. Hold that position now, and now let's repeat that whole series on the other side. Take a big step forward. Take your left hand and reach right up to the ceiling. Again, it's not a passive move. You have to reach for the ceiling, and now switch sides and do the same thing. Reach for the ceiling, at the same time, pulling the hand a little further back to stretch out the shoulders. Now, grab onto the foot or the ankle, pull it into the buttocks, keeping yourself off your knee. To do that, you need to press the hip into the floor. Release the hand, circle it all the way around. Now, step both feet together. If you can, while you're keeping your heels on the floor, release the hands. This is a great stretch for the Achilles. Now, take your body weight forward under the knees. Circle the hands behind you. This is called the rabbit. You want to tuck the head down, rounding your spine. Now, the weight does not go on your head. You circle the head around. The forehead should be in the knees. And when you're grabbing on your feet, you're letting your weight pull you forward. forward. Draw on the left hip and circle around. The left leg is straight, the right leg bent. And let's do the spinal twist where we circle all the way back around to stretch out the muscles in the spine. Switch side. Drop that arm over the knee using pressure against the knee to twist you all the way around, keeping the shoulders relaxed. Both the feet are forward, you reach for your toes, pull the toes back so the heels pull off the floor, elbows are in, and now the chest tries to reach for the knees, not the head, the chest. Release that, bringing the right knee into the chest, Relax back. Now bring your right knee as close to the chest as you can while you keep the hip on the floor. So again, switch sides and remember the hip must stay down the floor as you pull that right knee in the chest. And don't forget to take a deep breath and inhale. And now exhale as you circle the legs and pull both knees into the chest, keeping the hips on the floor. So really loosen up the groin and pelvic area. Push yourself up on the feet 
And now the last great stretch of the day. This one's for you. Take a deep breath. And now round up one vertebrae at a time. Open the legs apart. And then let's just swing. No body weight, just like a rag doll. Back and forth. No muscle tension at all. Like your little raggedy hand. And circle. Right. Left. And circle. Last time. Down. And down. And down. Circle all the way around. 